My name is Caleb, and I built a hungry baby alarm so that I can feed my baby before he starts to cry, enabling better sleep and a happier baby. My wife recently gave birth to our first child. I quickly learned that babies are little slugs and they eat like every couple hours. And this pattern is the main reason why me and my wife weren't getting quality sleep. Everyone says, sleep when the baby sleeps, but this doesn't fully address the issue of sleep because babies don't always get hungry on a schedule. And when babies get hungry, they cry, waking everyone up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Observing my baby, I noticed that he wouldn't cry immediately when he's hungry. Instead, there would be a series of signs he would progressively demonstrate, indicating that he's getting hungrier and probably will cry for food soon. And since I could visually spot these cues, I figured I could build a system that creeps on my baby, monitoring for these behaviors. Then it could alert me that he's going to cry soon. This is critical because if I know my baby is about to start crying, I can run and get milk and feed him before he cries allowing my wife to keep sleeping. Additionally, according to my exhaustive research on all the mommy forums, crying is a late stage hunger sign. And if your baby reaches this point, feeding can be more difficult. The hungry baby alarm lets me feed my baby before he reaches this point with the added benefit of my wife being able to continue sleeping. I have a baby monitor with video capabilities. I figured I could use this as a live feed of data for my system to look for hunger cues. Through my research, I identified the top cues that babies display when they are hungry. The most obvious one is lip smacking. Babies will open and close their mouths somewhat quickly. This is a little tricky to identify programmatically because I don't want false positives from yawning, which isn't necessarily a hunger indicator. Looking for out of the box tools I could use to help identify lip smacking, I found a library put out by Google called MediaPipe. MediaPipe is a framework for building machine learning pipelines or solutions and includes a set of powerful, ready-to-use classification and human pose tracking capabilities. The library offers a face mesh solution which looks for human faces and attempts to track nearly 500 key landmarks representing the entire face, giving me access to where it thinks each landmark is in a single image. This is really cool and fun to play around with. Once I had a high resolution mesh of the lips, I wrote some code to look for patterns of movement across the mesh over time, specifically a mouth opening and closing. The key here was to empirically arrive at a threshold of time which the full lip smacking action needs to occur in order to be considered a hunger cue. After some tuning, this approach worked really well. However, I don't want to be alerted when my baby demonstrates a single cue. So I built a weighted vote casting system where if enough votes or points are cast, the system deems the baby hungry and alerts me. Over time, the hungry value decreases, requiring the baby to demonstrate enough cues in a short period of time for my system to alert me. In my research on the mommy forums, I learned that there are early, mid and late stage cues that typically lead to a baby crying. Thus, for my system, some cues should contribute more to the hunger value than others, especially the late stage ones. Once I had a vote casting system in place and my first hunger cue working, I started layering in other cues for my code to look for. If you've ever been around a baby, you know they suck. And my baby loves to suck on a pacifier. <laughs> yeah, is that part of the script? Yes. But unfortunately, my creepy mouth algorithm can't see through things, making it more difficult to tell if my baby is actually hungry while sucking on a pacifier. So I trained my own custom model, which when given an image will spit out the likelihood of baby with a pacifier or a baby without a pacifier and where it is in the image. I originally tried to train a model to classify and locate specifically just pacifiers in an image and then compare the pacifier location to the rest of the face mesh landmarks to determine whether it was in his mouth or not. But this procedural approach was pretty finicky. Something I heard recently with applied machine learning is that it's often more effective to lean into the end goal you're trying to accomplish rather than produce a model which fulfills a single reusable step, which is my natural inclination when I'm trying to write code. Applying this idea, I rebuilt my model with the outputs being baby with pacifier and baby without pacifier, rather than using object recognition to find a pacifier. This resulted in less code and a model that performed better for my use case. 
If my model is confident the baby has a pacifier, then the system doesn't bother looking for the mouth. Rather, it just tracks the pacifier and watches for other cues. According to the Mommy forums, rejecting a pacifier can be a sign of a few things, one of which is hunger. So if the system observes the baby had the pacifier, but no longer does, this is considered a hunger cue with a strong weight applied to it. But again, pacifier rejection alone should not sound the alarm. Rather, this combined with other cues should lead to less false positives. The remaining hunger cues I've built include rooting and the baby moving its fists toward its mouth. Rooting is where the baby moves its head around in an attempt to get at its food source, the nipple. The nipple. I noticed that my baby would move his head around more aggressively depending on how hungry he was. So I tracked the direction of his face over time, and the more his face changes direction in a short amount of time, the stronger the weight applied to the hunger vote. The last cue I noticed my baby demonstrate was moving his hands, specifically in the shape of a fist, towards his mouth. Going back to media pipe, it offers a 21 point joint tracking capability, which I utilize to both track and determine if his hands are shaped like a fist. So if either of my baby's hands are shaped like a fist and move close to his mouth, it's another hunger cue contributing to the hunger meter. With the system taking all of these cues into account over time, it reliably sends me a notification on my phone before my baby begins to cry, giving me precious time to get ahead of a soon to be crying baby. In addition to this, I built an experimental force feeding expansion pack, which also feeds the baby whenever hunger is detected, creating a world first automated hungry baby feeding system, which also... <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I can't believe how much time you wasted. I spent a lot of time on this. <laughs> I'd like to caveat all of this and make it clear that in no way do I rely on this system to determine when I should feed my baby. My wife and I follow the advice of our son's pediatrician, and this is something that just augments or better enables us to get ahead of the feeding situation and get more sleep. Crying is a late stage hunger sign, and if your baby reaches this point, feeding can be more difficult in addition to the obvious stress the baby is under. The hungry baby alarm enables me to feed my baby without my wife waking up and allows me to feed him before he starts crying, making the process of feeding and going back to sleep faster. Thanks for watching. The nipple.